I hope you're having an inspiring day. Today we are talking about my best of collection when it comes to those classic timeless wardrobe staples that I feel like everybody kind of needs in their closet. These are pieces that are really heavy on rotation in my closet. They're the ones that I wear the most and kind of go with every outfit and also is pretty much a capsule wardrobe in and of itself. Before we get started, a very big thank you to Anna Luisa for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. Their jewelry is one of my favorites and definitely the definition of classic and timeless. I'm excited to show you some new pieces that I got in. You'll remember these rings. I got them a while ago and love them so much. They're definitely timeless pieces in my wardrobe. But without further ado, let's get into this best of wardrobe staple collection. I honestly feel like if I just had these pieces in my closet, I could probably just like live off of outfits made with these pieces alone for the rest of my life. Not to say I will, but I'm just saying I could. All right, first let's start with jewelry. Now, when it comes to jewelry, I find that it's very important that you know your style. And when you know your style and what pieces you like, it's really easy to layer them kind of like clothing. So for me personally, I really like gold tone jewelry specifically. And so I typically gravitate towards those colored pieces or the, that sort of metal in my jewelry collection. I feel like jewelry is really important, especially when you have a really classic, simple wardrobe. It really just elevates a classic look. You guys know that I'm almost always wearing a pair of gold earrings or my layered necklaces or some rings in my jewelry with just like a basic top and a pair of pants. And I just feel like it makes that look kind of pop even though you're wearing something super simple. When it comes to my style, I typically like to go for things that are symmetrical. I really like a classic silhouettes, things like hoops and chains. So no heavy pendants or things like that, just because I really like to layer them. I'm actually wearing new pieces that I got from Ana Luisa recently. I'm wearing this set of gold hoops. They're sold separately, um, but I feel like they look so cute together. I love the layering look. I have two earring holes and I just feel like putting the two hoops together really makes a statement pop when I'm wearing something simple like a black turtleneck and a pair of jeans. So the hoops that I'm wearing right now are called the Tia mediums in gold and the low mediums. Um, they're both made so, so well. And when it comes to earrings, I feel like it's really important that you get good ones. And the way that these ones are made, the clasps on them, the way that they enclose is just so high quality. And that's another thing with jewelry is that Getting jewelry that's going to last in your closet is just as important as getting those perfect pair of jeans. It's really important that they're high quality and they're not gonna break on you or you know fall off during an event that has definitely happened to me before. And I feel like these definitely need to be bought together because they look so good together. I feel like on their own, they're really simple and classic, but when you put them together, they are such a bold statement. And in terms of necklaces, like I said, I really like chain necklaces. I feel like they are a lot more classic. They go with everything. They can be dressed up and dressed down. This is actually also a new one from Ana Luisa. It's called their Alyssa necklace. It's got this really cute enclosure here, which I've actually put to the front just to make a little bit more of a popped statement. Um, but you can actually turn this one around and then just wear it as a chain which allows you to kind of layer more jewelry on top. But as you can see, I feel like, I feel like this, this combination of these hoops, the necklace and the rings, I just feel like it makes a very simple wardrobe pop, which is so important, especially when you're trying to kind of narrow down and focus your closet on wardrobe staples. It's actually a really good time if you are looking to stock up on any timeless jewelry because Ana Luisa is having a really great sale. They currently have buy one, get one 60% off. So it's honestly such a good time to pick up that classic, timeless piece to add to your closet. As always, I will link all of the product links in the description box below. And if you're new to Ana Luisa, they are such a great company just in general. They are so focused on sustainability. They actually have moved their company to being 100% carbon neutral, which I think is incredible. It just makes you feel good about buying their pieces. So that plus their incredible sale that's going on right now, great time to stock up on some timeless pieces. I love that their pieces also come in their own little pouches. So cute and also just goes back to the idea of keeping your jewelry, keeping it well maintained and having it last forever in your closet. Something I feel like is really in theme with the idea of having that classic timeless wardrobe staple based closet. 
All right, let's talk about tops next. Now, if you have seen any of my videos, you know that I wear a very basic top in pretty much all of my videos. I'm nothing too crazy. I just feel like the classic like t-shirt, classic tank top, classic turtleneck just goes so far and looks so good when you choose the right one. So I'm gonna walk you through all of my favorites. It is no surprise that all of these tops are from Everlane, probably my very favorite basics brand or wardrobe staples brand. So first in the classic tops is the tank top style and I discovered this earlier this season. It's actually a new one from Everlane. I think it's called the cutaway ribbed tank but it is literally the best tank I have ever owned. Uh, a few things that I really like about it is that it's got this deeper cut arm line which I just feel like is so flattering. It shows off your shoulders a little bit more. It gives a little bit more interest. It fits so well and the fabric is so thick that I'm legit not wearing a bra with this and I actually feel comfortable. I also feel like it gives you that bodysuit look without wearing a bodysuit because I'm going to be honest, I am not the biggest body suit fan. I just don't like things riding up there. But this is the full length of the tank top here. I have it in such heavy rotation that I actually have it in black and then I actually picked up another white one um, recently. Not that I think that they're going to go out of stock or season but just I wear it on heavy repeat and because it's white I'm just scared I'm going to spill something on it. So this cutaway ripped tank top, I swear just everybody needs one of these. Side note, I feel like neutrals, like black and whites, go so well with just gold jewelry. I feel ready to go right now and I'm legit just wearing some gold jewelry, white tank top and jeans. Not particularly a tank top, but this is the tank bra and you have seen me wear this in so many videos, in so many outfits. I wear it both as a bra and a tank crop top. Uh, it is so comfortable, by far just the best cropped bra looking thing I've ever tried. Again, from Everlane. And this is one of those wardrobe staples to me because it is so versatile, does more than one job, both a bra as well as a crop top. I wore it under blazers in the summertime. Now I kind of wear it more like a bra or underneath like a thick cardigan or something like that. But again, a staple that you kind of will never tire of and it's just such a classic uh, and can be worn in so many different ways. Next up is the existential search for the perfect white tee. Now, just tees in general, I feel like sometimes it's hard. You hear people throw out the word, oh, the classic perfect white tee, but how do you find that is a completely different story. This for me is the perfect tee. Now, it's not too boxy, but not too skin tight. It fits perfectly, sleeve length is perfect, where it looks interesting, but still casual. It's a really simple crew neck look, my preferred sort of t-shirt style. Obviously, you can get v-necks as well. I just think this looks a little bit more timeless. This is the full length of this white t-shirt here. Another thing you wanna look for, other than comfort, obviously, first and foremost, is the fit and the length of the white t-shirt to find that perfect match. For me, this is definitely the one. Uh, the fabric on it is super soft, but it's also just, it washes so well and still stays so structured. This is the organic, cotton crew neck t-shirt, again, from Everlane. I have it both in gray and black. It's just a perfect tee for pretty much anything you wanna do, whether you wanna tuck a bit of it in, have it a bit slouchy, it's not super, super structured, or if you wanna kinda of tuck it in and almost make it look like a super tight fitted t-shirt, it kinda of does it all. And again, I have it in both black and gray. And last but not least is the turtleneck. I am a turtleneck fan. You guys already know this. I love it. I think it just looks so chic on. This is probably my favorite turtleneck. It is the Pima Cotton ribbed turtleneck. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, from Everlane. I got it last year. I have this fabric in so many different cuts from them because I find that it form fits really well while still staying really comfortable. I hope that they still make this. Uh, I got it last year, but again, I'll look at the link and then link it below, but it just fits so nicely. A fitted 
neutral turtleneck I feel like does so much. It's such a great layering tool as well, especially if you live in a cold climate like I do in Toronto. The other one that I really like is the Uniqlo Heat Tech turtlenecks. Those are always in stock. I will link them below as well. Again, just a really fitted turtleneck not ribbed you can obviously get it a larger size if you want it to not be so skin tight but they are meant to obviously be form fitting but those would be the two best turtlenecks that i've ever tried so for tops you kind of saw my evolution of the basic styles of tops again like i said i think i could live off of just these tops that i've named forever in my closet that's how much i stand behind them but obviously depending on the season i wear one more than the other so in the summertime the tank bra which i'm actually wearing underneath this as a bra right now uh, as well as the cutaway ribbed tank are going to be the ones that i kind of gravitate towards the most t-shirts all the time all year round but in the winter time i'm definitely more often than not in a turtleneck no matter what even if it's underneath a sweater and last but not least, let's talk about bottoms. Really, if I have to think of it, and I really narrowed it down, I really only have two wardrobe staples that I want to talk to you guys about that I feel like everybody really needs. And that is a pair of denim and a pair of black pants. So let's start with denim. This is one of my favorite pairs. This is the Wedgies Levi's Straits. Uh, you will definitely have seen me talk about these before. I got them a few years back. Still love them. Now, when it comes to denim, there's quite a few different ones that I like for different reasons. But I think if you just needed one, having one that is fairly high-waisted or at least mid-waisted and a straight leg is really handy. It kind of just does both. It's not super flared like what's trendy right now, but it's not skin tight either. And this is another pair that I really love. These are the Way High Jeans from Everlane. Again, still straight leg, but these are not cropped. These are full length. Again, just super versatile. Wear it with a big hoodie. You can wear it with a tucked in t-shirt. Wear it with a blouse to make it a little bit more dressy. Just so versatile. And these two, or at least just one pair of straight leg denim pants, I feel like is definitely a staple in the closet. And listen, I get that it's tempting with all the trends and everything to get like a super bell bottom or flare pants. They look so cool, they look so trendy right now. But when we're talking about wardrobe staples, the ones that do it all, these are the ones you need to get. And last but not least is the black pant. Now, I separated this into my two favorites. This first one is a little bit more casual. It has pockets, kind of looks like denim. These are the Everlane straight leg pants. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm an Everlane fan. But they are just the best pants. You've heard me rant and rave about them before. They are so perfectly fitted. Perfect high-waisted, high to mid-waist. Fits you so well, straight leg. You can get them cropped like this or not cropped as well. But again, they just fit so well, so comfortable. They're the best casual black pants. They also come in different colors that you can get seasonally, but right now we're talking about the classics. So I have this in both bone, which is their kind of off-white color, as well as in black. And then for dressy pants, there are a few options, a bunch that I've tried. These are the ones that I really like recently. I have two that I wear on heavy rotation. The other one is a little bit more cropped and it's from Aritzia, but this one in particular is a little bit more of a cigarette style pant. It's a little bit more tapered at the bottom. I just feel like it looks really good with the high-waisted action here. It has uh, a little bit of like a band that I feel like kind of elevates it, makes it look a little bit dressier than the Everlane straight leg pants. This is definitely what I wear if I wanted to kind of look a little bit dressier if I was going to a fancier place or something like that. But again, a still a very classic look. This entire video, I've pretty much only been wearing a combination of blacks and whites but I still feel really put together especially with you know like a pop of gold jewelry or something like that or a statement bag a statement accessory you are good to go and honestly no fuss and that is it for my sort of first round of of my best of wardrobe staples obviously we didn't talk about bags we didn't talk about shoes so let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video and i'll try to make one for accessories specifically i know we talked about jewelry today but if you want me to go into like bags shoes belts things like that let me know i hope this was helpful for you i feel like this is the question i get the most like what's your go-to pair of jeans what's your go-to pair of black pants what's your go-to t-shirt 
Obviously, a lot of it is from Everlane. That just happens to be the brand that I discovered and really liked, especially on my body type. But any of these that you have in your closet already, I feel like if you're really trying to understand what your wardrobe classic timeless staples are, this is definitely my sort of theory to look at it. A pair of denim, a pair of black pants, the t-shirt, the tank top, the turtleneck, some gold jewelry or in whatever type of metal you like to wear and in whatever style you like to wear it in just to make your outfit pop a little and you're good to go. It's just a simple wardrobe, something that I'm really enjoying a little bit more of. I'm not great and I'm not perfect at it, but I'm definitely trying to learn a little bit more how to appreciate those timeless pieces in my closet. All that to say, if you like this video, please give it a big inspired thumbs up and comment below, let me know what your wardrobe staples are or if we have any of the same ones. A quick reminder again that Ana Luisa is having an amazing sale right now. If you are interested in any of their pieces or the, even the ones I'm wearing, it's buy one get one 60% off, which is incredible. And if you're new to the Inspire family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a bit longer and subscribe. But with that, Inspire fam, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.